Hello, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodman. This is Christopher Drains, and this show is brought to you by Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, right across the street from Wilson Park. This show is our prediction of where guys will be playing. Oh, uh, you can go to Hockey Locker and get uh, new skates, used skates. You can get your skates sharpened. You can pick up hockey jersey from all NHL teams in the Midwest. You can pick up gear for your Pee Wee League, your Beer League, your uh, high school league. They also do jersey customization, and they have your 2019-2020 Admirals jerseys, and you can get them customized when you buy them. Yeah. Well, they won't be given to you that day. It takes about 30 days, but you'll get them. Yeah, they do a really good job. You'll receive excellent customer service. And uh, thank you, Hockey Locker, for sponsoring us now. All right, so this video, we're going to go down the French training camp roster and see who's going to end up where because cuts should be coming in the next 24 to 48 hours. Yeah, pretty much we're going to predict if we think they're going to end up with the Florida Everblades of the ECHL, the Admirals of the AHL, and then the Predators of the NHL. So, so let's get this uh, show on the road, shall we? First up, number one, Troy Grossman. Admirals. Go. Uh, Joel Pendenza. Probably the Admirals. Last year played for the Admirals and two ECHL teams. Yeah, so I think uh, Pendenza will be an admiral. He played good for us last season. Uh, Steven Santini, he came over and part of that New Jersey trade with uh, with uh, PK. I'll, I'll say he starts in Milwaukee but ends up in Nashville. He's on a one-way contract, so I think Nashville. All right, Ryan Ellis, Nashville. Uh, Dan Hamhuse, Nashville. Nashville. Yannick Weber, Nashville. Nashville. Kyle Turris, Nashville. Nashville. Colton Sissons. Nashville. Nick Benino. Nashville. Matias Ekholm. Smashville. Uh, Craig Smith. Smashville. Rem Petlick. Uh, he might start in Milwaukee, but ultimately is going to end up in Smashville. Yeah, I believe it's he, not Nashville. It's Smashville. I love I, that nickname. I believe he'll he'll start the season in Milwaukee to give some time to see how the lights click, and if yeah. they don't, he'll be in Nashville. It, Kelly Armcrock. Nashville. Mika Salamaki. Smashville. Rocco Grimaldi. I wish he would be in Milwaukee, but he's in Smashville. Jared Tenardi. Oh, he's our captain. He's in Milwaukee. Oh, let's get to Matthew Olivier. Mm. Milwaukee. The full season or part of the season? Full season, unless Watson gets hurt. All right, Milwaukee. Because I was going to say, maybe he steps it up this year and gets a, I don't know, gets a spot on the second or third line in Nashville. I think third or fourth. I mean, he's more of a bottom six, or bottom six, top 12, top nine kind of guy. Uh, Daniel Carr. Oh, he's in uh, Smashville. They made that abundantly clear when they picked him up in the first place. Cole Schneider, Milwaukee. Yeah. Illy Tolvanen. There's your toughie. I'd say he'll start in Milwaukee, but he'll probably get some time in Smashville because according from what I see in the preseason, he's stepping up his game, which is a good thing. Um, from what I just read, uh, part of the post-game interviews, uh, they said that uh, he is in taking steps in the right direction, but he's not NHL ready yet. Yes, which means, like I said, he'll probably start in Milwaukee, maybe get a game or two in the NHL just to see where his progress is. Yakov Trenin. I wish Nashville, I, he deserves it, but yeah, Milwaukee. Yeah, Milwaukee probably. He's he, a good player in Milwaukee. He deserves to get a chance in the NHL, and he will get his chance, don't get me wrong. Because he's still young, so he has time. Uh, Victor Arvidsson, Nashville. Yeah. Pekka Rene, Milwaukee. I'm just yeah, kidding. Yeah, <laughs> I want Pekka in Milwaukee. Uh, Nashville. Yeah, obviously. Uh, Jeremy Davies. He's another one of those picked up during the P.K. Subban trade. Well, what's his uh, career look like? Like, he just got out of college, Milwaukee. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a wrench into this. I'll say Everblades. I say Milwaukee because I got a couple guys who I think will be on the Everblades. So. All right, well, I'll say the Everblades for him. Connor Ingram, goalie. Milwaukee. He, we need a backup for Troy. All right, Lucas Craig. He is kind of a enforcer, another guy who can play out there with Olivier and kind of. So uh, Milwaukee. Uh, Colin, Bl uh, no, Brandon Fortu Brandon Fortuno, defenseman, Milwaukee. He's young. He needs some time. Where Milwaukee. was he the last couple of seasons? 
Quinnipiac University and the Eastern College Associate. Uh, ah, it's from Milwaukee. Yeah. Eastern Conference uh, Associated College or whatever the E A E C A C. The Eastern Hockey Conference in college. Yeah. We'll just put it at that one. All right. Uh, Colin Blackwell. Milwaukee. Alexander. Maybe even in uh, Nashville. You never know, depending on injuries and stuff. Alexander Carrier. Your buddy Carrier, he'll be in Milwaukee just so uh, you and him can have exchanges. <laughs> Nashville. Eventually, yeah. Eventually, yeah. Matt Maybe Donovan. toward the end of the year when they're gearing up for, well, that uh, P word I'm not trying to say yet. Matt Donovan. Milwaukee. Uh, Laurent Dauphin. Milwaukee. Yeah, I, with Donovan and Dolphin, I say Milwaukee. Uh, Josh Healy, he played for the Stockton Heat last season. He'll probably be Milwaukee, but I could see him maybe getting demoted if we have too much of a log jam, so he might end up with the Everblades down there in Florida. Uh, Milwaukee. Uh, let's see. Austin Watson, Nashville. Milwaukee. Nashville. Milwaukee. You want him in Milwaukee because yes, he's do. good I here. I want you guys to watch Watson in Milwaukee, but he's right. Obviously, Watson's in Nashville. Matt Irwin. Milwaukee. Maybe mm. even the Everglades. <laughs> maybe. Because <laughs> maybe. Because if you think about it, if we have too much of a log jam, we need a place for these Matt guys Irwin. Matt Irwin, I actually agree with you. Milwaukee. Matt yeah. Irwin played last year for the Predators all yeah, season. Yeah, I know that, but I'm just saying Milwaukee. Up. He was on the scratch list a lot. If he no, wants game now, for you folks that have never watched our show before and are about to see this, watch this. Ken Appleby. Appleby. Milwaukee. Everglades. Eh, yeah, because, see, this is, that, this is that good problem the system has. We have a lot of goalies in our system now. Well, with Troy and Ingram... We're not going to rotate three goalies. Well, what if Ingram falters by whatever, for whatever reason? What if he falters? He's a Preds problem. Would he's, Appleby be the next logical step up to replace, to be a backup to Troy if Ingram failed? No, I don't believe that because... Because Ingram's young, so Ingram also could posted, serve, it could serve him well to play down the floor. Ingram also posted in the uh, for uh, Syracuse last season, he posted a 2.2 goals against average and only played in 10 games. Okay, so, well, fine. Maybe we just picked up Appleby just so we could stock up down there in the Everglades. Um, he also posted it for Orlando in the playoffs a 1.9 goals against in 10 Ooh, games. That's pretty hard to do because you figure playoff games, you're playing against tougher opponents. So that's pretty impressive. All right. All right. I can see where you're coming from. Next. Uh, Dante Fabro. Smashville. I think he starts the season in Milwaukee and then goes up. That would be give cool it a couple weeks. It would be a couple weeks only to see how they stack up and then go from there. Yeah, maybe a month at most. Yeah, it, not, uh, three weeks at most. Yeah. Um, Roman Yossi, Nashville. Nashville. Maybe our, Milwaukee, that would be cool. He's our captain. Yeah, I know. Scott Savage. Can a guy, can a guy wish should be hopeful that stuff happens like that? Scott Savage. Uh, Milwaukee. Arvin Atwal. I mean, you, we don't know much about him, but... Just because of that fact, I'm going to say Everglades. No That's what I was... the guy, but once I n learn more about him, I might change my tune, but I'll say the Everglades. I think that as well, and the same for this next guy, and that's Adam Smith. I think he'll end up with... Everglades. With the Everglades. But Mikhail... they could get caught up to Milwaukee, depending on how the season shakes out. That's the yep. beauty of having an ECHL affiliate. Mikel Granlin, Nashville. Who's coming to Milwaukee? Uh, Hugo Wah. Oof, again. Everblades. Yeah, I was going to say, again, another guy that's caught in that goalie uh, logjam. All right, so these two have already been sent to their junior teams, and that's Philip Tomasino and Igor Afen Afanasiev. Yeah, so obviously we just told you where they're going to end up. Uh, uh, Tomasino went to the Niagara Ice Dogs in the OHL and uh, Igor Afanasyev went to the Windsor Spitfires which both are really good programs so expect to keep an eye on them 
Uh, Frederick Allard. Oh, Aki. We need the villain. The villain. Freddie Allard. All right. Uh, I'm a fan of him. UC Saros, Nashville. Yeah. He is the future of this organization. Yeah. Zach even Mac though even though he's been uh he's been in the system for how many years now? Uh, four. Really? Five actually. Five. Okay. Uh, Zach Magwood. Milwaukee. Thomas Novak. Milwaukee. Maybe the maybe the Everblades, but probably Milwaukee. I was actually thinking Meg would probably get sent to to the Everblades now that I think about it, because Novak had a really good camp. Yeah, uh, Magwood didn't really do too much last season, so yeah, I could see that too. Here's an instant Milwaukee Tanner Janelle. Yeah, that's definitely Milwaukee. It's gonna get a little tricky in a second. Hunter Garlet. Uh, don't know too much about him. Let's see how what he does in in, in preseason. I, I can't give an answer. I've heard he's really good, but I don't know what to say. Yeah, to be determined. Freddie Gaudreau. Milwaukee, but now in Nashville. Milwaukee. Or, or Milwaukee. You honestly think he's gonna end up back here? What if they decide to release him and let him go somewhere else? Because seriously, he'll he's get sent through waivers this long, and he's been back and forth between here and he, Nashville uh, here's for the past the thing. two years. Here's the thing. He might end up in Milwaukee, but let's see how what happens with these the cuts in camp because we'll do another video once all these... Who do you, who we think will get the axe? Yeah, from that, we'll see who gets the axe. Okay. Anthony Richard. Here, Milwaukee. I think well, he starts he might get a shot in Nashville. He played last year uh, two games in the NHL. I believe that he will start the season here, but if he plays like he did last year, he will be in the NHL. Yeah, because he was a spitfire down here in Milwaukee. So. Ryan Johansson, Nashville. Matt Duchesne, Milwaukee. I'm just kidding. Yeah, Nashville. Milwaukee. Come on, come on, Duchesne. Play for the Admirals. One game. Conditioning assignment. Uh, nah, Matt Duchesne, Nashville. Nashville. So that has been our roster uh, predictions. Uh, you just gave them. Yep. So anything that should be it for our video unless you have something additional you want to add that you uh forgot oh um, yes i i did forget um check out uh the milwaukee admiral's twitter page on tuesday at 10 a.m on its youtube channel yep or yeah, their twitter page will have it their facebook page will have it and youtube that's when admiral's training came starts like we covered in the last video it's not open to the public sadly yeah. but that's them's the break so we got yeah, it wasn't gotta... open to the public last year and look what they did they won their first playoff game in a decade so yeah it benefited so um, i want positive stuff happening this year all righty so this has been from milwaukee to nashville i'm daniel Gunnamo. sponsored by well this is christopher Dreyes, and this show is sponsored by oh, Hockey locker i jumped the gun i was trying to get a sponsor yes don't make me make you do this video all over again. No. <laughs> okay. We did a good job with this video. Let's keep the good stuff going. So, Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Thank you, guys. And get all your hockey gear for those of you here in Milwaukee. Come here. Or for those of you Nashville fans who come and visit. And want go to, to HockeyLocker.com also. You yes. should plug your website. Yes, you can go to HockeyLocker.com. Or you can call them at 414-800-800. Uh, I believe it's... Yeah, I was going to say, you have the card readily available in case you forget. 75, 85. So, 414, 8, or, bleh, 414, 800, 75, 85. So, this has been from Milwaukee to Nashville. Daniel Gunlow, Christopher Dredge. Peace. See you guys later.